Hey, what's up everybody? Mark here. And today we're going to go finalize the video for the V10.1 or the 2019.40.1.1 uh, firmware upgrade or software upgrade that we just got recently here. You might have saw the release notes that I released, uh, but this is what's included with it right now. Uh, it includes the following supercharger improvements. Your Model 3 is now able to charge with increased peak rate power up to 170 kilowatts. Now, I can't test that because I don't really have a, a supercharger around here that'll let me charge any faster than, I think it's like 120 or 150 kilowatts. Uh, so we don't have the ability to uh, test that, you know, per se. Uh, but in addition to that, there are automatic wiper improvements. The automatic wiper improvements have been improved to be more likely to activate when it is lightly raining, respond to changes in rain intensity for more environments. The automatic wipers are now employing the first production deep neural network trained with over 1 million images for the detection of water droplets on the windshield and additional weather cues. If automatic wipers is not performing to your preference, any manual adjustment wiper speed will be captured to further train and improve the network. So just the other day, and I think I have some video of it, I'll put it in here, and you can see that, uh, so this fog that was setting on the car, I just decided to drive out without using my wipers to manually do it. Uh, there was just a big haze over the windshield and little water droplets everywhere, but that just settled in overnight. So maybe the car couldn't determine that, uh, but I did hit the automatic or the manual wiper there to make sure that it was working. Um, but that was uh, that was it. It has been nice and uh, sunny and, and clear skies here in Florida. So we haven't had, been able to really test it or functionally see if it works any better than it did before. And on top of it, I really didn't test the previous wipers. I'm just hoping that uh, that it works well as it did before. It never really worked bad. Uh, I had no issues with it and I easily turn it off, turn it on. And now the other thing that we're going to be looking at here is the automatic lane change improvements. Now, let me warn you guys, I've got the GoPro sitting right here. I'm gonna try and record the screen, the outside, and show you guys everything that's going on here. Uh, there are just a couple of things that I'm just struggling with with the automatic uh, lane change improvements. I actually put it on mild again and previously on uh, the part of the video that I was making here. I said I was going to do it on Mad Max or leave it on the average, but I got to put it on mild. It's for some reason I'm just not able to um, have confidence in it when there's lane changes come up. I usually ride in the middle lane. Uh, and then the inside lane, which is the fast lane, or the outside lane, which is the slow lane, I usually just, uh, I'll pass in that lane. But what occurs is that there's cars that are coming up from behind. And when this thing makes that abrupt change like that, some of these cars are doing 80 miles an hour. And again, I know we're supposed to make sure it's it's up to us to make sure that we maintain uh, our safety around us when we're doing lane changes. But sometimes when you're looking at that, uh, you're going to be seeing these cars come up and you're like, oh, I can do it. And it, I mean, it literally darts over and then starts speeding up. So we're going to take all kinds of uh, looks at that today. We're going to go to the interstate and see how that works. I had, um, uh, there's one little problem that I, that I will talk to you guys about that I'm noticing that's intermittent. And uh, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. So let's get on a ride here. Let's see what we can do. We're going to get out there at the interstate. I will put it on the charger. I'm about 50% charge right now. I'll put it on the charger for you guys in just a couple of minutes here uh, as you watch this video, just to see if there's any changes at, uh, at the supercharger here nearby. So, all right, we're gonna get this drive on, let's go. All right, first things first, autopilot's on. So what I've got to do here is I've got to get myself faster than the traffic. And this could be hard because it's five o'clock and everybody's itching to get home. So we're going to have to push it up to um, some speeds up here that are, uh, that are above normal. And what you want to do when you're doing this is you want to make sure that you do have navigate on autopilot on and also, you know, a destination. Because if you don't have that, this isn't going to work. And then currently we have it on autopilot for, we're going to put on Mad Max so you guys can see it. Here we go. Put our hand on the steering wheel. Usually the entrance and exits to the highway or freeway are always like that. They're really jerky, but this is going to be a legit one here. You can see how it captures the lane pretty good. It's it's really well. So our speed's going to jump up. I normally don't go over the speed limit here. Um, but in order to test this, everybody's doing 80 as it is. We're already getting a notification to get over. Changing lanes into a faster lane. 
and it is detecting that car that's up in front of us. I don't know if we can see it or not, but sometimes you can see, yeah, there it is. There's the faintness of that car right there. If you guys can see that, those two cars next to each other. So the radar is actually picking those cars up further down uh, than maybe on the previous updates. And it's looking good so far. You can see how far ahead of they are. So one of the downfalls or disappointments that I think that this new update has that is problematic with this automatic lane change is it doesn't want to get out of the way or move over. So it is really, it's not, not necessarily a problem, but if you're not paying attention, someone will come up from behind and you know be on your butt there and, and wondering why you're not getting over. So it's not moving over for, uh, for vacating the lanes. And we'll show that example right here. I'm gonna slow the speeds down to about 75. We're gonna get past that car. We're just past it. On the previous updates, this the car would move over and, and get over into the other lane. Once it saw that there was cars in front of us not going uh, any slower, it would actually move over. Let's see if it's gonna do it here. Now, Dirty Tesla, if you watch some of his videos, he had the same trouble there, but uh, was not able to get the car to vacate or move out of the lane. And that's what we're running into now. So if I slow down just a little bit, basically hovering this lane. Yep, nothing's happening. So we're gonna have to bump it back up. Cause I got a car coming up on my butt here. And we'll manually get over. And you can see how quick and sharp that is that movement there. We're gonna get over in the slow lane here and move all the way over. And what I wanna do is I wanna bump that speed up to right around uh, what's indicating 86. We're approaching a semi truck. All right, we've paused down a little bit. We've got our follow distance set to something like six. So I'm gonna push it up to one. So the right thing to do in this situation would be to get over in the middle lane now and then capture the fast lane. But the, the Tesla's not able to, to use that knowledge that we have as drivers in order to do it. So what it's gonna do is gonna get bound up behind these two cars and ride, uh, ride right here for a little bit, even though this car, as you can see over here, is, is right next to us. Uh, no matter what speed I put it all the way up to 90, it's not gonna go anywhere. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna back down the speed a little bit. We're gonna capture this lane, we're gonna get over, that's manually done. You can see how quick and fast it is. Now I'm gonna push it up to that 85 and see what happens here again, because this car is doing 76. We got a mile exit, we've gotta get off and get over here in just a second. So will the car recognize that we need to get over? I think it does, yep. It's got the, the line right there indicating that we have an upcoming turn. You can see that gray line. and it's gonna move us back over automatically. It's gotta put a little bit of force on the steering wheel. And you can see how sharp those turns are. Um, in icy conditions, we live in Florida, so what you're seeing here is 60 degrees. This is about as cold as it gets on average. Um, but we're gonna see if you're in an icy condition, like anywhere north of like North Carolina, South Carolina, and you hit those icy conditions and it's changing lanes, not sure what happened there. So back there, what you saw was definitely an incorrect. It was not the way autopilot, navigate on autopilot should have worked when, uh, you know, exiting a lane there. It could have been from the, the painted markers on the road, but I've done this exit plenty of times and it, and it takes me over there. But for some reason today on this new update, which I haven't done on this update, it shows that there is, um, it showed clearly in the video that there was an issue. All right, as you know, autopilot is on. We're gonna set our speed to 85. Navigate on autopilot chime just happened. We've got uh, everything looking good. We're gonna head, we have to, I gotta put in a new address. So we're gonna put in, um, we're just gonna put in Daytona Beach. And then hope for the best. We're gonna go down this way through here. Calculating route. Navigate on autopilot. There we go. We're gonna swap over. This is where it gets kind of hairy. People in the middle lane, when the car enters onto the highway right there and it does that sharp turn, you won't believe how many people hit their brakes and uh, think that I'm coming over in their lane, but you know, in fact, I'm not. All right, so we're at a little bit of a, a weird spot right here. We gotta do the same thing. We're gonna have to get over. And there's a 
car on our left. Shows up on the onboard radar there, looking good. We're gonna push this speed. I'm putting it up to 90. I'm not gonna go 90, I promise. Uh, but I just wanna push it up there and see what happens here when the car knows that uh, I wanna get going. Now we're gonna go to the outside lane. There we go, we're going out to the outside. I'll bring my speeds back down. And it would eff effectively just pass this car and go around it, but it's gonna stay in this lane until it finds another slower vehicle uh, to go around, which would be that truck that's way, way up ahead there. Ooh, that's new. Wow, that's an improvement. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but previously on some of the other updates, that when you do the signals half down or into that short position where it's just like a quick flash, like three flashes, the car would surge over and try and do that lane. But as you guys can see here, it's ignoring it. Now, if I hold my hand on it, it will go over. Now, I'm not all the way clicked down, so that's where you don't want to make the mistake of what I'm doing. All I'm doing is literally just pushing down and letting the, the, uh, the stock there come back up to its, its resting point. So if I do it over here again, that is amazing. Because if you accidentally bump that previously, the car would literally do this right here. It would go, it would like that, and then come back into its lane, thinking that you were trying to get over that lane, and when one, when you canceled the uh, signal automatically, it would jump back over because it didn't know what to do. It thought you were trying to come back. So that's an improvement that I haven't seen before. I like it. slow down right between these two cars here and just see if that makes a difference to get over or if it's just going to hover in this lane the whole time. Now that car is starting to lead me in distance wise so looks pretty good. The car can't detect the car behind us and as expected it is not vacating this fast lane um, in order to get you know out of uh, out of this area so Where are you taking me? No, I don't want to go there. This is not the right way. We're going to see what it does. Oh, goodness. That's not where I want to go, though. Thankfully, there's no one on this road. No one ever comes on this road. All right, we're back on autopilot. Autopilot on that did not want me to go uh, to the right destination just because of the roads. It's not the car's fault. It's because these roads are, like, maybe three months old, two months old, and the maps have not been updated. All right, so we've got ourselves set up for the supercharger here, and we're getting uh, 89, 90 kilowatts on this particular one. There's no one else here, which is good. We got 100 kilowatts. That's pretty fast. I haven't seen that before, 101. Okay, 105. That's the highest I've seen here. So now plugged in here, I'm getting 98 kilowatts, around 100 kilowatts here. This is the fastest I've seen it here at this particular supercharger, even though there's no cars, no other cars here. And it looks like someone ran into that supercharger over there. Wow. Uh, the uh, the thing that I'm seeing is that even when there's there's people here, we're still getting pretty high rates here. Uh, as some other people commented on the last post, that 
this is supposed to be 150 kilowatt. I, I've never seen 150 kilowatt. And even if I, I'm down at like 5% and start all the way through here, we're getting a 406 mile an hour or 89 kilowatt input. Uh, it was in the peak up there about 100 and 101 or so, uh, but that's going to be it. All right, let's talk about what happened here on the interstate. Uh, it wasn't bad. I, I didn't mind it. Here's what I wish would happen. When you're coming up to a car and you're this far back from it, the autopilot's moving over and getting around it on Mad Max. It's getting around it here, but when you have it on mild, it starts right about here, it seems like, and then moves over. What I wish Tesla could do, and maybe you guys will agree once you get this either this new update or just now, is when you're moving lanes, I wish it would be a smoother transition because right now what's happening is literally the car is going like this and then over. Uh, it's, it's a pretty sharp, uh, exaggerated change of lanes, and it's hard. Uh, two times now, our little girl, she's gotten sick in the back seat, says she's not feeling good, threw up once, and I was on Navigate on Autopilot, so I hope it's not because of that, uh, but it just be, could be because of her, but just recently, this has started with her. She's getting, uh, you know, not feeling good like that, so, but all in all, I, if you like the Mad Max, let me know in the comments. I'm going to put it on probably average or mild now, uh, one of those two. I don't need Mad Max uh, until they can get that lane capture uh, taken care of where you capture the lane and you're sitting there and you're hovering in the fast lane and then you move over once they get that squared away then i'll put it back on the mad max or whatever is well we're dropping down now 74 kilowatts 339 miles an hour we've added 23 miles or a dollar 25 in in uh in range here not too bad the car hasn't been popping too much it's about time for me to go home it's 5 30 we've got we've got nothing left on our uh, gopro we've got nothing left on our phone we're gonna get home put this video together. Um, other than that, this update's good. Each update is pretty great. Uh, one thing I wanna let you guys know is I literally, right before doing this video, I got a message from Ford, since we still have our Ford truck, that there was an update to our map system, there's an update to all kinds of stuff uh, on our car with a sink and all that. And I was like, oh, cool. You start scrolling through and it shows you the features and it says buy now for $109. So. Tesla, I know, sends us updates. So even though these cars are in their beta form, they're having, uh, you know, new features come out that may not work as good as you are, at least I don't have to pay $109 to get map updates. They are linked up through Google Maps, I think it is, and absolutely beautiful when you start looking at um, the ability not to have to worry about buying updates for the car, even if it's a map, which is silly. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and hitting the bell button. All right, guys, I will see you guys again soon. We're going to get out of here, get some dinner, and yeah, we're going to finish up. Bye.